hey it's Jill with Crick Flex. I did the videotape last night and told you a bunch of the projects that I was going to be working on so tonight I'm going to um, try and get as many done as I possibly can so you may see a few videos coming across the way. First one I'm going to work on is table or cake toppers for the theme of Frozen. However, it is Frozen and all the characters from Frozen are in a swimming pool. Um, she's doing a sheet cake and I do believe she said it was a half a sheet. Um, and um, I did the characters that look like they're in water. Here is Elsa. She looks like that she's in the water. I mean, she was, but I, I cut the pool out. All I did was use her head. Um, there was more in the background, but I just did the head. And she's these cake toppers are going to be stuck on the sheet cake that is designed as a swimming pool. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. I, I think it's going to be so cute. And what I'm do using for the topper um, to stick them into the cake are these are food crafting inspirations a dollar ninety nine at skewers and I'm trying to think where I got these um, may have been Michael's it doesn't tell me there's a hundred in here but I'm not real sure where I got them Hobby Lobby or Michael's in the food cake decorating the cake area but these work perfect and what I did is I cut the tips off of them because I wanted the point on all of them so what I'm going to do is show you each one of these here is Spen so cute when I cut this out I had got these images on a digital somebody that had the digital um, but it came in a format that was all tiled. It, it, it was horrible. I couldn't use it, so I ended up cutting it out by hand. However, I couldn't cut the horns out by hand with the antlers because there was so much garbage going on. I've got to make a screenshot, screen print, and send it to the person that I purchased the, the digital from um, to ask them why that was happening. Uh, and I don't know if there was a purpose for it or not. So what I did is on one of my other spends that I have from a Google search, I cut the, the antlers off and put them on him, which worked fine. He's in a, in a little inner tube in the water. And here we have Anna. And then we have, what is his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. I know him too. I know all their names because I've done so many of these, but now I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, and then Olaf, I do remember. There we have Olaf. I love the inner two piece in with the little antlers on it. Um, and this goober, can't remember his name either. Um, but I don't think it really much matters. And I love how the water's splashing up there. Then what I did is it was a pool around it. So I just took and did it freehand with my knife and just freehand cut to give that water. None of them are the same. Um, I just, like I said, I just did freehand cut. I did have to cut the entire image out. And now I'm going to put them together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I should have made these skewers a little longer. That was kind of silly. I had to get a new glue gun. My glue gun, I'm going to, my glue gun was so, um, what do I want to say? It was so hot. I don't know what happened to my last one but it the glue was melting and just running like an open faucet um so i was using all my glue stuff. i mean the glue was just running so i had to go get another one and my husband went to to pick one up for me at michael's and i did notice that the plastic on my old one is all melted here i don't know if it was just overheating or what I didn't throw it away because I got to figure out a way to get the glue stick out of there. Because you know what? This stuff isn't cheap and I'm not going to give up that glue stick. I'll take that thing apart, but I'm not that little tiny piece of glue stick. But I'm not going to give it up. I'm not going to do it. Okay, let me see if this. Uh, I didn't turn it on. So, what else? The next one. 
Um, this one I've already videotaped before. Um, I think I'll work on the gable boxes for the Hello Kitty, a sample of what those are going to look like, and make that my next video. Because the one I actually got ready is for um, 10 cubbies in 10 smees that are going to go with the last 15 centerpieces I just did. Um, need 10 more, 5 of smee and 5 of cubby with all of their little extra elements. That's my um, next project here. These take a while to heat up. I am so sorry about that. What can I tell you while I'm waiting for that to heat up? Oh, um, Jenna was able to get most of my boxes done on, that I told you last night, this is my one of um, Curious George and Thomas the Train, that, the combination of the two on the gable boxes. I've got all the centerpieces. I'm going to finish those up tonight. I pretty much got them done, but I'll show you real quick the gable boxes. The one with the hat and the little bouquet and the train. That was one. They're all three. Di they're all three different. Here is one. Uh, Curious George just painted Thomas the train and all his little paint paint buckets. I wish that Will was that neat of a painter. I actually Will and Kendall because boy did they make a mess when, last week when they were painting um, these. Then here's another one of the whole train. And then Curious George, which is his bouquet balloons, and each one of these says happy birthday on the bottom. And I'm going to be doing a banner on this and the finish up the centerpieces. Um, what I'll probably do is once I get it all set up, take some pictures. I'm not really sure if I'm even going to take some pictures because I just had Will's or Wyatt's birthday kind of out of this theme. Eh, I may take some pictures. We'll see. We'll see. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And if this, yep, oh, glue gun's hot now. So I'm going to put a little bit right here to hold my stick. And I should have caught, I should have cut these sticks longer. So now what I have to do is I cut a bunch of popsicle sticks in half. That. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to do this whole thing in hot glue. Um, and there we go. And let's see here. There we go. I think these are going to be so cute. I can't wait to see the cake. Because how cute with these stuck in a cake that looks like a swimming pool. Cute, cute, cute. Here's one. And oh, it's so cute. Look at that little duck. Or a little, uh, no, not duck. That uh, is a uh, moose or whatever you want to call it. There we go. And let's see. Oh, somebody from Etsy is sending me a message. I have my phone um, set with certain sounds so that when it, it sounds, whether I've got an email, whether I got a uh, somebody from Etsy sending me a message, um, ringtones specific to each one of my kids, so I know which ones I want to answer and which ones I don't want to answer and how quickly. Um, and that particular tone is somebody from Etsy's trying to reach me. And there we go. But. I will get back to them after I get done with this. There we go. There we go. Um, again, people, uh, somebody had said to me about putting a message at the top of my YouTube. I gotta figure out how to do that. You know, I have no spare time. Somebody said to me, asked me last night on one, one of my messages or one of the, the the comments on one of my videos was when do I sleep and um, not sure if I do but um, I'm so busy that I do not have the time to dink around with um, YouTube that is so cute to oh he's missing a he's missing one of his little oh here it is um, 
for me to figure out um forgot what I was saying how to put it up where I get everything and how I do everything and people ask me all the time what glue gun do I recommend the glue gun that I find the best is the super bonder whenever I get a new one I probably buy two to three a year um, or more um, but when I use 40% off coupon this one cost me $13.92 um, there I you it, I use it every single day, so uh, I don't think it, that, that what they charge for them, they expect them to last and take the type of use that I, I use them for, because I use it a lot. I don't think I do an order without the hot glue gun. Anyway, there's Anna. And now, let me see. What is this guy's name? I know somebody's going to go on there and tell me. Because I can't remember. I'm going to blame that on the meds. little update on the health. Um, I had, uh, not only with the burning mouth, but I don't know if I recently mentioned on any of my videos that I'd also got a torn meniscus. And I think that might have happened from my numerous falls down. Oh, uh, with the stairs or just outside, just whatever. I just fall down a lot. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just, I'm always way too busy and I don't take my time and pay attention. As a matter of fact, I fell off the deck steps yesterday and I was holding um, Isabel, my 10-month-old granddaughter, um, and I happened to catch myself before going down, but I caught myself on my bad knee. But, you know, I, uh, I go bike riding um, at night. I try and do speed bike riding. Uh, I'm not very fast, but I think I'm fast. It's just because I have the gears on the bike set, so it feels like I'm going fast because I'm pedaling so fast. But believe me, I'm not going fast. But I'm um, trying to get my knees and, you know, well, it's always good to stay in shape. But anyway, um, uh, today the, the kids were over and I was down on the floor playing something with them. And my five-year-old granddaughter, because I was on the floor, looks at me and she goes, oh, Nama, is your torn meniscus getting better? Crack me up. I don't know how I am able to maintain a straight face conversing with her. She just, oh my God, she just is so hilarious. Um, her, her papa was complaining about something the other day because something was hurting him, his legs or his back or something. He'd been outside doing some yard work and... And Kendall said to him, oh, Papa, not you, not you too. You got a torn meniscus too? Hilarious, hilarious. But anyway, then today when we started doing a, a parade, and I was singing I Love a Parade, and no, I'm not going to hum a bar for you, nor am I going to post the video that I took of us singing and dancing around our family room singing I Love a Parade. Uh, my daughter couldn't decide what was funnier, that or the fact that it was Will, Kendall, and I, and we each had some uh, sort of toy musical instrument, and, and uh, we were loud, noisy, and obnoxious, but we were having a good time. But as we were singing, we were going full circle around the family room, around the couch, and around the toy area, and, and just singing and having a good old time. They were loving it. And the cutest thing in the world was that um, little Isabel, who is 10 months old, was crawling, following us. And I could not figure out, after she did it a few times, I'm like, oh my God, trying to figure out a way to set up my camera, because all I had was my phone down there, and trying to figure out how to set up my iPhone to videotape so you could see her following the parade. She was crawling, and it wasn't a short distance. It was around in circles, and she followed the whole entire time. I finally decided I was going to sing I, I Love a Parade and walk backwards with them following me playing their instruments and her following. I was able to get a pretty good tape of it, and it was absolutely priceless. I sent it to my, my daughter, who of course shared it with everybody. Um, and no, it's not going up at YouTube because um, my singing, number one, I don't know the words, number two, I can't even hum. Um, my, don't, my kids' first words first full sentences were, Mommy, don't sing, please. I don't think they said please, but they told me not to sing. 
Um, that's one thing that, you know, you know what you're good at and you know what you suck at. And singing would probably qualify in my second category. I cannot sing. And, but the kids are young enough that they don't care. The fact that I was doing a parade with them the other day, last week or a week ago, or so, I don't remember how long ago it was. I think it was a couple weeks ago. Kendall came up with this great idea. She said, Nana, let's pretend we're doing a garage sale. And it was sunny out and everything. And I said, that would be fun. Let's do a garage sale. So we went in their toys. Now they have more toys than Toys R Us um, in my basement. I'm not in my basement, in my family room. And I'm really big on making sure that when they're here, they have plenty to play with. And so she said, let's pretend we're having a garage sale outside. And we were using the hot tub as part of our display area and the table setting out there. And, you know, we, we were dragging everything out, including um, their great big huge rocking horse. And we got everything outside to have our garage sale. We got everything all set up. And she has a little toy cash register and Will was the shopper. He was carrying around a little toy computer telling us not to bother him because he was working. He's three, but he had to work. So he crawled up on top of the hot tub and laid down with his little toy laptop and opened it up. And he was busy working, could not be bothered with us women at our garage sale. After we get everything set up, it starts to rain. Never seen anybody move so fast ever. I was hauling all that stuff back into the house. It was, it was pretty funny. But um, I did have time to take pictures to send to Mommy and Daddy. I use my iPhone all day long and take pictures and send it to mommy and daddy who are at work and you know what work I was a stay at home mom and so um, I got to see everything the kids did that was cute and funny and my daughter's work well my one daughter works outside the house my other daughter is with her kids all day but I send the pictures all day long they call me the paparazzi I take more pictures I tell you um, Wyatt's birthday party on Sunday on my phone alone there was 287 photos that didn't even include what was on my camera nor did it include what was on my daughter's camera um, but they're everything you know now with digital cameras you have nothing to lose take photos you know and then you go through and pick out the ones you want and I would say the ones that you want to scrapbook however that's not been happening my daughters have all the pictures and I don't have any pictures to scrapbook. I'm working on it, but guys, I promise, I swear I'm going to be doing layouts. I swear, I promise you, I promise. I am, I am all talk because I keep promising and I have yet to. Anyway, I'm going to show you all of these guys down here. I'm all done. And I think they're adorable. Ah, oh, I think they're so cute. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to bring you down here. And there we've got Anna. You know his name because I don't. Eric. One of them is Eric, isn't it? I don't know. Sven. Olaf, look at that duck. Isn't he cute? Is that a duck? No, that's a deer. That's a moose. And Sven. No, Sven's that. That's Sven. I am. I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. And nobody needs to say what an idiot I am. You know, I'm on meds. Oh, and as far as my other condition, my knee is getting better and my burning mouth. Um, I have my good days and my bad days. Today happens to be a good one, so I'm going to get as much done as I can because I'm feeling good. Thank you, and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.